Hey, this is Fielding Cage with Go Harvesting Missions. How to heal the sick in the streets and be part of the miracle awakening that God is doing. Yes, Lord. How do you approach people? Oh, there's so many different ways to approach people. You see someone in need. Um, someone's got an arm brace or a leg brace or something like that. Compassion. True, sincere. Jesus was moved with compassion and healed the sick. And you hesitate and say, should I go up with him or should I not? Just treat him like, that's your child. That's your son or daughter or sister or spouse or mother or father. Go, don't leave them that way. Just go up with compassion. What happened to you? Oh my goodness, that must hurt a lot. Does that still bother you? Oh, wow. Well, we heal the sick. We can make the pain go. Can I pray for you? We see lots of miracles. Even if you see them on YouTube, say, we see lots of miracles. <laughs> we see lots of miracles. Can I pray for you? And just pray for them. Command that thing to go. Command that sickness or disease to go. We run after people, run down the street with people <laughs> that are in wheelchairs to go after them. Run, don't let them get away. Don't let them suffer one more minute. God doesn't want them suffering one more minute of that sickness and disease and that devil controlling their life. Go after them. Go up to people. I go up to just groups of people sometime and, and say, anybody here have pain or disease? We can make it go. We do door-to-door -door healings and knocking on doors, business-to-business -business healings. From say, See, half the people, over half the people have pain and disease in their body all the time. So you see two people, you know one of them's got something wrong. So if you see three or four people, no, these people, some of, something's got something wrong. So you just, hey, we're out here healing the sick. We can make miracles, we see miracles happen. Can we pray for you? Or can I make it go? In a religious place, where there are the Bible Belt, or people that have all these religious ideas, it's best to not even mention Jesus. Let them think you're a magician or well, I don't know what. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's better for them to stay in neutral than pull up these religious flags of, oh, my religion does this, or we, we believe this way, or I don't believe God does that anymore, or my pastor's been praying for 10 years. Skip all that. Just say, hey, we're out here healing the sick. We can make your pain leave. We can make your disease go right now and minister to them. And then as you're praying for them, a lot of times I say, the Bible says lay hands on the sick and they'll recover to give credit and honor to God to realize this is the word of God. And we pray, pray for them, command the pain and sickness to leave. Every harassing spirit go or spirit of infirmity go and be healed in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And they realize, wow, this is Jesus. And you explain to them after they're healed why it was Jesus, how Jesus healed them. And they eagerly receive salvation. They always want to hear more. They want to know more about this. Like, what? God is real? He really loves me and cares for me? Yes, lead them in salvation. Hallelujah. It's easy. Um, tough people. I, I love going after these guys that are just covered in piercings and tattoos and they're cussing and they're smoking and they're drinking and they're doing drugs. I love going after them. They can't relate to me, whatever. They're like, what is this guy doing coming over talking to us? I said, hey man, I want to show you, some, I'll show you something crazy. I want to show you a miracle right now. Whew. They're like, what? He's like, any pain or disease, I'm going to make it go right now. Watch this. This is going to be cool. I said, who's got a pain? Who's got a disease? Who's got knee trouble? Who's got back trouble? Trouble. Someone will say something. They say, watch this. We have someone... Again, we don't pray for the sick. We're always training other people and we have someone else pray for the sick, unless there's no one around. <laughs> and we have someone lay hands on them. And, and they're like, move it, check it out. And they're like, one guy, what did you do to my leg? What did you do to my leg? Thank you, Lord. They all eagerly receive. See, the thing, the religious thing, one time when there were four guys that were doing drugs, big time in this park, and uh, they... Four guys needed healing. I said, we're going to pray for you, and that pain's going to go. One guy says, prayer? No, I don't want nothing to do with God. No, you ain't praying for me. That's that religious thing we try to avoid. So the other three, they get healed. The guy comes back up. Well, um, yeah, I've been stabbed five times in my legs, and it really hurts. And uh, I was like, Jesus loves you anyway. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 
Thank you, Lord. They command his leg to be healed. He's like, guys, look, I can move my leg. I can move my leg. And he breaks down crying. He says, I need God. I need out of this stuff. I need to get free from this, these drugs. Eagerly receiving Jesus. Come on. A Walmart parking lot, uh, anybody with a cane, anybody with a walker, I don't care how old they are, you're too young to be using a cane. What happened to you? Sincere compassion. Hey, let me pray for you. We see miracles happen. Can I pray for you? And lay hands on them, command it to go. It says, get up and walk. Try it without it. Having great compassion. I've had people that couldn't get out of their truck and uh, saying, come on out. He's like, I can't, I can't even stand. It hurts too much. Outside, they're jumping up and down. Can't find any pain in their feet anymore. Just moved with compassion. There's so many ways to go after people and heal the sick. In a, just a group of folks, group of teenagers. Hey, we're out here. We want to show you something crazy. We want to do a miracle for you. Like, what? Just, yeah, I want to show you a miracle right now. This is going to be cool. Who's got pain in your body? We'll make it go. Anybody, anything. I don't care what it is. Watch. <laughs> then when one of those things happens, like a basketball court or something, we have the person that gets healed. says, I want to prove to you God... God is in you. Lead them in salvation. They lay hands on the other one. Works all the time. It's so much fun. God is in you. <laughs> when you get people healed, take them and say, lead them in salvation and say, I want to show you that God is in you. He can do the same thing through you. It's not a special gift. It's Jesus in you. Come on, let's go lay hands on somebody. Over and over, those people, they lay hands on people, start their Christian life healing the sick, seeing miracles, knowing that God is real. He loves them and can use them powerfully. Whew. Everyone, this is a miracle awakening. It's happening for everybody. Go tell the good things God has done for you. When people get healed, tell them. Go tell the good things God has done for you and remind them to spread the good news. Share with other people what happened. God just healed me. Go find someone right away and tell them that God just healed you. That's the most powerful thing to get it going, to stir it up and watch it keep happening. Start home groups, start cell groups, start business groups saying, come in here. Let's show you how to heal the sick. Thank you, Lord. Hey, God loves you so much. All things are possible. Go after this miracle awakening. Go after miracle signs and wonders. Whew. Jesus wants to use you more powerfully, super abundantly, far and above all you can ever ask or think, infinitely beyond your highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams. Christ in you. It's the only hope of the world. They're waiting for the revealing of the sons of God to rise up and say, we are children of God and we are enforcing God's will on earth as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Bringing God's glory to the earth. Thank you, Father. You are the light of the world. Go lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. Watch miracles happen. Fall so in love with Jesus. Yes, Lord. You're awesome. We love you.